What's the fastest way to travel in Minecraft? Number one, the piston bolt. Pretty freaking fast. About one second to travel an entire chunk of distance right there. That one has got a nice speed. Coming in at number two, it is the boat hop. Literally make a line of boats and just right click as fast as you can. Look at the speed of this thing. That might be one of my favorite ones as long as you don't get carpal tunnel on your fingers when you're doing all that clicking. Number three, we call the dolphin torturer. Take a dolphin, stick it inside of a little torture chamber back here. Get some speed. Make sure you're wearing some soul speed boots. I can't talk. Drink a potion of swiftness. And with all these combined, you're going to move real quick underwater. Cheers! This one's a classic boat and ice maneuver. Put a boat down on a bunch of blue ice with some glass panes on the side, press straight, and you just start moving like crazy. Put on an elytra, take the riptide trident, and just shoot this thing in the rain, and you literally can cover so much ground. It's unbelievable. It's not like a 24-7 guarantee with this one, but it's kind of awesome, and if you don't have a riptide trident, you need to invest in one as quickly as you can. It's going to change the game. What is the slowest you can move in Minecraft? Well, I set up a bunch of tests. We're going to find out right now. Number one, they got the shield spider web and ice. We're going to time it right here. Three, two, one, finally. <laughs> My fingers like, don't move. We're gonna drink Turtle Master in slowness. This one might be a little bit more bearable. Here we go. All right, timer starts now, go. Oh, they expired a little bit too soon. We'll just add like two seconds to that one. Editor, do your magic. This is aesthetically awful. The colors look bad. And here we go. The time of our third path is up there on screen right now. But now we're doing two potions and these vines. This seems horrible. To add a couple seconds to that one because the potions ran out. The honey web. Boy, what a speed demon we've become. So, all right, moving on to the soul sand spider web. All right, guys, and there is your times on top of all of these paths right here. All right, pro gamer, you have to pick between saving this innocent dog or picking up this stack of diamond blocks. Goes for the dog. He saved the dog. The diamonds fall into the lava and they're gone forever. The full set of netherite armor you just won. It's down there in the lava. Go ahead and pick that stuff up. It is yours to keep. How smart are Minecraft mobs? Today we're gonna find out by seeing which path they take. Are they gonna walk to the diamonds, to the fire, or fall off the path entirely? We're gonna do these four mobs and a mystery mob today to see how smart they are. Coming in first is the goat spawn egg. Let's see what the goat will do. I'm gonna stand over here to see if the goat is gonna come to us or fall in the water. Here we go. Oh, goat, the goat is down. Goat is confirmed stupid. How about the villager? Will the villager make it? It's a very easy parkour course, man. Here we go. The oh, villager goes down too. Here comes the cow. Oh, we got so close. The cow's the smartest animal yet. One more till our mystery mog. Let's try the pig. Here we go. Pig, hopefully you can make it on over here. Come on, buddy. Come on. Go. Oh my gosh. They make it so close and they jump into the water. Now for our mystery mob. Here we go. The glow squid. Will you make it glow squid? Come on, buddy. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Just spread your wings and come on over here. The first mob is the Minecraft Moobloom, which was actually voted against for a freaking glowing squid. Thanks, Dream. Moobloom's were planned on being a bunch of different colors, like yellow and pink and like basically all the flower shades. And the plan was that bees would come around, they could pollinate these, and then you could use it as like a normal flower. Now this next one, Mojang decided was actually too scary for the game. This is the bone spider. This thing shoots literally bone shards at you. I mean, it's honestly kind of sick. This is like a mystery mob. One of the devs created a cat that's called the dyed cat. Said it wasn't actually dyed, but it was covered with purple goo. Now here's a really cool one that was actually inspired by like Dan TDM back in the day. It's a skeleton dog. Listen, these bad boys start howling because when they howl, they actually boost the strength of all skeletons nearby. Now, when they added the blast furnace, they were considering adding the furnace golem, which looks like this. This is like a real thing they considered. So if it sees any sort of danger, these bad boys shoot laser beams out. Finally, a brand new sea animal Minecraft had made, and it looked like this. It was actually just a literal shark, which would be so cool. Make seas way more dangerous. Today, I've got three of the most dangerous Minecraft builds you've ever seen in your life, starting with this one. Go into survival mode and stand next to this sign. Watch what happens. Nope. <laughs> nope. Oh, it's so close every single time. Look at this one. We've got the dog lava squisher. How did someone time this? I've never seen this in my life. <laughs> These poor dogs. Hey, chill. Yo, chill. Too aggressive. Now, this next one has instructions. It says, place redstone block where instructed. Place TNT in the bottom left corner. And then spooky. So, let's see what happens. We're going to put a redstone block here. And then a TNT block in the corner. <laughs> Look at this. It lo oh. How good is Minecraft logic? I want you guys to play along with me and try to guess if these items will break the egg or if the egg will break the item. Egg versus anvil. I'm going to say anvil wins. <laughs> okay. All right. Coming up next, we got 10,000 tridents versus an egg. Okay, this makes no sense. How about gravel? Dude, they're eggs. How about all these arrows that I've launched here? The eggs are unbreakable. Look at this. How about the dragon egg? We got the egg on egg battle. What's going to win here? Are you kidding me? All right, let's do the dripstone. This one, I am very curious what's going to happen. Now, I decided, hey, let's stack a thing of anvils all the way up to the ceiling. And let's see what happens here. So, 
Welcome back, guys, to Minecraft Logic. Will these items break the seeds when they fall on top of them? Let's go ahead and guess together. First up, will concrete powder break seeds? I would say yes. What? That doesn't even make any sense. All right, I'm 0 for 1. Level 2, will three anvils break seeds? Dude, that literally makes no sense. At least the last one we did made sense. All right, well, let's try the dragon egg. This one's got to break the seeds. Dude! All right, well, this one, it's literally made to break seeds. I mean, you would think if anything broke it, it would be this one. Are you kidding me? All right, well, the lava, I think we can all agree, no question, will definitely break the seeds. I swear to God, if the seeds are still there when I look, I'm going to lose my mind. So, guys, all it takes is literally molten lava to break seeds. So, lava did it. If you guess lava as the only one that breaks seeds, congratulations, you're right. This is Minecraft's oldest map, and it's taken over six years to make, and it's still being worked on today. Underneath every city is a fully functional railway system that connects you to other cities, and every single house and building actually serves a purpose, like this one, which is like a fishing store. There is a town all the way over here in the middle of the forest, but guess what? It's connected in next to another massive city. This is not the same as the first one. Each one of these buildings is hand-built one block at a time. So guys, I'm playing on my Minecraft world. I see this random door just floating in the world and I have no idea what it does. So we're gonna walk through it and see what happens. Oh my gosh. Look at this guys. It has absolutely changed the way this world looks. What the heck is going on here? You're telling me that's a target block? Look how tiny that thing looks. That's the lever. Oh, that's a big boy. Guys, look at this. We found another door and a chest. What's inside of it? Oh, that block of gold looks super strange. Look at that. All right, but this other door right here, I need to know what's inside of this one. Let's walk through it and see what's on the other side. Here we go. Here are the five rarest Minecraft items in the entire game. Number one is the enchanted golden apple. If you find one of these bad boys inside of a desert temple, it's a 2.6% chance of happening. Level two, finding a pink sheep in the wild. There was only a 0.16% chance of finding one. And it looks like this, finding or breeding a blue axolotl. Blue axolotls have a 0.083% chance of spawning, which is like one in a thousand. You might have to place over 1,000 spawn eggs to get one of these bad boys. The second most rare thing in the entire game is getting struck by lightning. There is a one in 100,000 chance that lightning will actually kill you in game, making it one of the rarest things ever. Lightning does a full five hearts of damage. If it hits you, I mean, it's probably never going to happen because it's like literally impossible. The most rare thing in the entire game, you have a one in one trillion chance of finding, which is a fully lit end portal. Deep inside of this portal, you come up to the top. The end portal is already ignited. Did you know about these Minecraft's 1.17 ways to x-ray? The glass and lava method. If you have lava, place some glass down and you can actually see right below it instantly, no matter how deep it is. The chain lava technique. If you put chains across the middle, it allows you to see all the way through. And if you're on bedrock edition, you get to see through every single layer. How about the pig technique? Go into an area with slabs on the roof, place a pig down, hop a saddle on that bad boy, get out a sword, get on the pig, and then you're actually going to be able to see through the roof of the slabs. And in this case, we can see all the caves and pretty much everything. So with a composter, all you have to do is take a one block hole with the composter in, pop a piston above you, and then turn it on and take a look what happens. You legit get x-ray of everything around you so we can see an entire cave and amethyst over there and a pig right next to us. Have you ever wondered what the most cursed Minecraft seed ever is? A seed so unreal and so unbelievable that when you join it, you won't even believe it's possible. If I fly in this direction, these caves will never stop duplicating. But not only do these duplicate, but there's also insane numbers of ore. You can go to any of these caves and just follow them down a path forever. Now you're probably wondering, Zach, that's cool. I like getting all these ores. What else duplicates? Well, entire mine shafts also duplicate, which means this single mine shaft right here will literally go on forever. And this is the seed link you can join. Share with the group of friends you want to start a world on with and see if you guys can beat it. So guys, I've been working on a new Minecraft base and I'd love to get your advice on what I should add. So if I walk up my furnace staircase and take you upstairs, I added like a nice little fence and area, which is cool. But under the trap door is where my base really starts. So let me show you guys what we got going on down here. I thought one wall will put down some TNT slabs. Maybe here I'll do some angled furnaces and then maybe like a terracotta staircase next to my pumpkin fence. But I just wasn't sure what else to add. So could you guys drop a comment down below? Hey guys, take a look at my brand new base. How am I supposed to get in here? Oh wait. There we go. Another barrier? Guys, I just want to show you my base. So annoying. I hate doing this every time I have to walk in. And let's get a quick snack. My food's a little bit low. I was thinking we were going to do a little bit of mining. So let me just grab this. Let's go do some mining right here. Wait, what is this? Tommy's secret stash. Please do not take. What's in here? Really some junk, I guess. Nothing we need. Yo, coal! It's our lucky day! Oh my gosh, I can't believe this! Let's get some freaking coal. Guys, look what I just found! Oh my gosh! This poor zombie! What's up, buddy? I'm gonna try to save you. Hold on. Here we go. Nice and easy. He's free. We saved him. Oh my gosh. Good luck, buddy. All right, guys. Time to get a little bit more dirt for the base, I guess. Uh-oh. A creeper. Oh no. What am I gonna do? Oh, 
But first up, we're gonna try out the Sparkler TNT. Let's see what this one does. Oh, no. Sparkler TNT is a little overpowered. Hopefully, it doesn't hit those. Here comes the pink TNT. I'm gonna move it way over because I feel like pink's gonna be dangerous. Oh! Pink TNT is obviously one of the most overpowered things I've ever seen. This is what fountain TNT would look like. Oh, it just spirals up. Oh, what the heck is this? This one should be pretty wild. Oh, it just spews it up. Now we have one called the ultimate TNT. I'm a little bit nervous for this one. Oh, well, here we go. Oh my gosh, it literally spews out every single TNT at once. Look at this. What happens if I do about a thousand of these ultimate TNTs? I don't know. Let's find out what happens though. Oh no, look at the damage. Oh my gosh. So I figured I'd see what happens if you make a thousand zombies attack one single villager. Let's get our innocent villager placed and then let's place our thousand zombies. All right, I think that should do it. Now let's build a path over. Sorry, dude. We gotta do what we gotta do. Three, two, one. Oh, no. So guys, one of my friends told me to check out this shader pack. They said it was the most cursed shader pack ever and the sky looks pretty strange right now. Oh my gosh, that's one of the weirdest things I've ever seen. What the heck? Dude, it's like getting worse and we're not even moving. If anyone can manage to play on this for more than like five minutes without actually wanting to throw up, uh, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> this is literally what it feels like when you come back at 3 a.m., all right? This is what everything feels like. The whole world is spinning. Look at the caves right here. This is not right. Nothing about this is normal. Minecraft, what have you become? So I guess we found Minecraft's easiest dropper. Let's take a look. <laughs> That's pretty sick. All right, well, let's hope we don't die here. This is what your favorite Minecraft mob says about you. If a zombie is your favorite mob, it means you're a fan of the classics. You've got an old soul inside your body. Is a wolf your favorite animal? Well, if it is, it just means you're boring. You one of those creepy Enderman people? All right, this means you probably have a crush on the Enderman, so why don't you go touch some grass? Now, this cage is actually empty. I don't know what happened to it, but if creepers are your favorite mob, you're either really cool or you suck. There's literally no in between you. Now, bees are interesting. Either you feel like they should be your favorite mob or they are your favorite mob. And to be honest, you're probably a pretty cool person. If cats are your favorite Minecraft mob, which happen to be mine, then you're probably really short. Is your favorite mob the witch? W well, you suck. So I spent six months writing a brand new Minecraft song and I wanted to play this for you guys to see what you thought. I think maybe it's good enough to actually put in game, but I want your opinion. So help me get this to Mojang itself, guys. All right, so here's the starting button. We're gonna play this song for you guys right now. Three, two, one. 